Boom, Capricorns. Wow. This is the business uh, career and wealth reading for um, the month of August, but it is timeless. So whenever you pick up this reading, it is uh, the time you should have uh, this reading. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, without any further ado, let's get in this. So you have three major arcanas that is here. Um, and this is going to be absolutely fabulous. Three major arcana. And the situation with this three major arcana is really coming in very strong, very powerful in order to release you from some um, deceptive, some situation that is transpiring. And if you notice, um, this is a month when it comes to business, listen at a workplace listen Capricorn, zip it up, listen to other people, watch what is going on. So the number two energies of listening is here and it's as if the magician is creating some sort of, it's as if your angels and guides come down and it's creating some sort of a way to get you out of a situation whether it's a workplace or whether it's a work situation, but it is creating some uh, sort of, uh, um, of uh, um, currency in order to release you out of a situation. Listen to what is happening and is transpiring. So as we look at this month, um, some help, um, it could be um, help that is going to be coming in. I see people, it's as if the magician is showing you that some sort of help is going to be coming in. Some of you could be given a, a, a Taurus some help or some of you is as if your spirit guides and a Taurus spirit guides is going to be coming in in order to resolve a situation, okay? Um, some money is going to be returned to you. Whatever is happening and transpiring, a lot of money is going to be returned to you. Some of you are going to be finding out that a cancer man, a man either overseas, a cancer man overseas, um, has been using and dabbling in negative energy, okay? Whoever this cancer man is has been using negative energy, and you are going to be finding this out. So it could be um, that some of you um, Capricorns is going to be finding out that a cancer man overseas is really dabbling in some form of uh, negative energy. If you notice the little pot, the water, um, the seashell and the, the crab that is going on. Yes, this is a voodoo priest or a voodoo prince. So whatever this man is doing, um, some of you could be reaching out to this man or some of you are going to be finding out that a man who has a business, a cancer man, who has a business, use magic in order to create some falseness to affect you or to affect your business. And I see that this is going to be over. This is going to be over because somehow um, you're going to be either dreaming this, realizing this and seeing this, uh, that this cancer man used witchcraft and black magic in order to either affect you or your business. This cancer man is a really delirious person and you have to be aware of this cancer man. And, you know, his, his time is now over. So whoever that was dealing with a cancer man or dealing with a Pisces cancer or a scorpion um, who was creating some effect or some issue, this man is like a voodoo prince or a tinder. My God, trust me, his little shit is about to over. So he's not even aware of that. Sometimes, ladies and gentlemen, you have to be aware that people set themselves in a company or people will use witchcraft or black magic 
to block your company or your business. And some of you are going to be finding out that it's a cancer man that has does it. But as you notice the victory and success, and it's not in reverse, you're going to be victorious and successful over a cancer man. They're going to be finding out that a cancer man that some of you were working with an ex boss um they have access your computer one of them has paid someone else to use and access your computer in order to get back at you because of some situation where you have won against this person this person can't take a bad loss and i see they try to use negative forces um in order to um, when a case it didn't happen because the empress comes in in the third week and end the cycle for this man and the help that he was getting from negative forces because this man was uh, uh, realized that he had lost a legal suit and it's a cancer it's definitely a cancer uh, whether it's a man or a woman this is a cancer so some of you are dealing with a, a cancer man or woman that was using negative um, negativity in order um, to win a lawsuit or to win some action that you have taken against this man or vice versa. They were using negative forces. I see, bam, in the third week, it's going to be over. Bye. toodle do. Go back to your little bush bush. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I just don't understand this and... I remember I was speaking to someone and they said, yeah, but everyone does it. No, that is not true. That is just uh, um, people who have not, were not educated enough. And these are people that will fight down other people in the workplace. If you notice people who are brought up normally um, do not dabble in these sort of a thing because they realize that there's good and bad, but whatever the universe and whatever source is impending for someone it's going to be happening and whoever these and this is what i said cancers um and aries people leo people will use negative energy in order to place themselves in a company or in a job and sometimes you wonder these people you see these people in companies especially the aries and the leos they have no idea what they're doing and they stay in a company for a very long time and people are wondering how comes this person always getting away with these things it's because they use voodoo and witchcraft in order to keep them in a company and i think that because um capricorns are really um mundane they're they're like it's either you do your job you can you're good at your job or you're not okay and this is the way uh, um, um capricorn look at a uh, work and business but not knowing that other people use witchcraft, voodoo, and magic in order to stay in a company because they are um, Aries people and Leo people are green, okay? And uh, green means that they are not capable. They need to have always a manager in order to support them. So I always advise people, go do a color test because a color test reveal a whole lot about you as a person and the position you will have in a company and this is something where it is as if uh, um some of you capricorns are going to be realizing that people are in position in companies that they should not have been promoted to okay and i see some of you are going to be very upset because in the past you realize that someone had got some sort of a promotion where they, there was no right for them to have this promotion because they have no idea and they weren't understanding what is the process and how what entailed this position and i see that some of you capricorns are really seeing this and you're listening you're just listening you're looking and listening mm -mm -mm. you are looking and listening at people and realizing and especially a lot of you a cycle is going to be over where a contract could be ending. A cycle is over between you and a scorpion and you and a cancer. And I see that you decided to step back. It's as if the month of August, 
you're stepping back and watching the pieces fall together. And I see the third week is going to be a beautiful, beautiful week. And um, whenever you pick up this reading, because that is when um, materialistic wealth is going to be coming back in your world. So this could be as if sales is coming in, okay? There could be a time when sales was a little bit down, um, but um, sales is going to be coming in for the people who have a business. That's the energy of the empress. Uh, I see a cycle is definitely going to be ending with a cancer, and uh, a cancer man um, or woman and a scorpion man or woman. Now, there is some emotional situation at the end of the month. Um, and uh, I see whatever the emotional situation is, is that, you know, you're rethinking something, rethinking and thinking about a Taurus, whoever this Taurus is, and watching what was transpiring and obviously um, overcoming a situation with um, a um, a Pisces Cancer or a, um, a Pisces Cancer or a, or a Scorpion. Um, it could be a boss, whatever that was happening and transpiring, you're going to be victorious over this person. Did you see that? That is the chariot, you know, moving forward, moving away from this uh, um, Cancer man. You've victoriously overcome some horrible uh, play what this Cancer man has done whether it's your boss or whether there could have been some help, some unexpected help is going to be coming in um, and help some of you Capricorns out of a sticky situation that has to do with a, Pis a, a cancer man. It's definitely a cancer man. At the end of the month, um, um, you're going to be um, having some sort of a regrets. And it could be regrets that you have ever connected with this person. Um, but whatever the regrets is and whatever is transpiring, you're going to be overcoming um, this. It's as if you regret that you have ever, um, you know, get in contact with this person. You're regretting the form of uh, way that this situation has ended. But um, you regret... Uh, um, how things has went on and why it has to come so far so end of the month um the energy of four of cups where i see some of you are going to be recalibrating and rethinking and replanning and i see um this is going to be good because it's as if some of you realize what was transpiring because in the beginning of the month it's as if you're going to be finding out that some money was either um um yeah something with some money either money was wasted or um there was some form of a deceptiveness with a pisces cancer a scorpion and a taurus where i see that it's as if your spirit guide is going to be dipping their hands in the situation in order to give you a huge victorious and success overcoming victory you're going to be victorious and successful over this taurus and cancer man that has created some sort of a problem and issue in your world it is a month to just listen wait watch and listen um I, some cycle um whatever is transpiring i see um you're going to be creating a lot of wealth a lot of wealth is going to be created for you and is going to be returned to you in the third week whatever the regrets is at the end of the uh, month um follow uh, follow us for the extended um in order to find out what is happening and what is transpiring now i want to say thank you so much please like and share these videos check out the weekly readings to see what is coming up in the second week because you're the second week you're going to be victorious and successful over a how or old boss or a man that was creating um using voodoo in order um because you can see that this is really um using negative forces that i see a cyclist coming over for this man whoever this man is and this man um some of you if you're 
working in spiritual work or doing any spiritual work if you're not well it is a cancer man that is doing this but i see it's as if a tower moment is coming down it's as if uh, whenever the magician comes up and someone is doing witchcraft and black magic it's going to be showing up and they're going to be finding out whoever made you sick okay so be aware of that it is a cancer man so i gotta go um we're going to be going forward with this extended of this reading um so be aware um and i'm saying namaste please like and share these videos so we're moving on